one last time. Hello and welcome to the 2019 Professional Disc Golf Association World Championships from Peoria, Illinois. We are in the final round, front nine, Eureka Lake. The cut has been made. Just the top players remain. Big sexy commentary here to call the action. Nate Sexton and Jeremy Coleman. And speaking of top players, we have Paul McBeth at the top. There you see OB penalties. He had two in round uh, one in uh, round three, and then one, uh, three in round one. These stats are going to be Eureka Lake mm-hmm. specific, so you're going to see stats in white from round three, and in, in the bottom in green, stats from round one. And Ricky Wysocki has not missed a putt at this course in this tournament. He's shot course record to get to the stage. He's in third place. And James Conrad also putting very well out here and for the tournament. 91% last round, 100% round one. Keeping it yeah, I mean, for the I most think part. I feel really good today. I feel just as good as yesterday. So that's really exciting for me, confidence-wise. Uh, I definitely feel like I still have a chance out here with the wind and all the different variables. Six strokes with, all, with this course, with all the wind and all the OB. There's two strokes swings to be had out there. If I put some pressure on coming down the stretch, there's definitely still a chance for me to win. And that's, that's all I need for, for me to get out there and be aggressive and get birdies. I would have to say it's my own head. Uh, you're your own worst enemy on the course. So if I can battle myself and stay out of my own head and just throw the shots that I know that I can throw, then I'll do great out there. I feel like my throws are pretty dialed in right now and um, just hopefully keep that rolling today. Maybe one will catch for me. feels pretty nice out here. Definitely a little sticky, but um, just might have to dry off the hand and the face here and there with the towel, but looking forward to it. The only thing I really see changing is uh, the tee pads could be slick um, and then maybe the few rollers that I throw out there might have to get a little different angle or I might have to adjust for the wind. But uh, other than that, everything in the air, I have a disc that'll take its place if it gets a little bit windy or, or calm. I just want to go out there and shoot a great round. Um, this is the final round of the World Championships. And if I, have the, if I have the hot round, I'm winning this. And if I leave the door open, Emerson's been stepping into it uh, pretty easily. So I need to keep the, keep the pedal down and, and uh, go for 18. You hear James, he's looking for that ace couple days now he's been so close see if he can get it done today hole one par four 633 feet over the dam these guys are going to go with that big backhand turnover you've been seeing all week heisering back into the hill leaving them a putter up shot it'd be interesting to see if any of them kind of dial up the aggression it's kind of a tough place to imagine it too but you know james and rick are guys that could do it from huntington beach california four-time world champion Paul McBeth. And Paul, who's been on a three-year drought of world titles, it seems like it's been so long. as one round away from capturing that elusive fifth world title. It's going to be interesting to see how he attacks this course with that lead. And he's going with the Onyx right off the Right out of the gate here, perfect shot right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, no turnover at all, just going with that straight power shot. And without a doubt, the player Next of the tournament so Texas. far. The story. The story of the tournament is what I meant to say. Yeah. yeah, I mean, anyone who's played with him knows that he has all the skill to do it, to do it on this stage consistently through four rounds. It has been something to watch. Mm-hmm. It has been incredibly entertaining. Can't wait to see how he... Handles the pressure today. Looks like a good start. Yeah, he's got the flex. It's high. It looks like it's going to clear the dam. Oh, it's on the top of the hill. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And from Campobello, South Carolina, two-time world champion, Ricky Wysocki. And easily the... The slowest round of the tournament for both Paul and Emerson was round four, and that gave Ricky and James a chance mm-hmm. of getting back in this tournament with hot round uh, fourth rounds. As you as you said, Ricky coming in tying the course record at Northwood Gold, eleven under bogey free, and that's a great start to the round as well. And from Blacksburg, Virginia, James Conrad. <laughs> James has a destroyer in hand. And he's juiced it. Wow. And this is turning. This is maybe too much turn. Anytime we see these drivers come with too much turn, they've gone out of bounds. And once again, wow, yeah, James is. 
Out of bounds long. This looks a little floaty. Gonna be mm. a little bit of a putt left, but nice distance control. Since left that a bit short. Wow. That's that a, wind will do it. Yeah, that's a nervy just, putt. You worry a little bit about that wind on the approach. You don't want to throw it and have it sail up on you. It was relatively calm off the tee, but as soon as these players got down by the green, the wind is really picking up off the lake. Mm -hmm. and Paul's left himself a kind of a tester putt considering the wind is coming off the lake. Rick, there's no testers there. That's under the basket with this pig. That's parked up. <coughs> Great approach. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, come on. That is not how you want to debut your... First hole, the World Championship final round league card. This would be a big save. James for five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? What? <laughs> that was a way harder second putt. He has made so many jumpers. Yeah. He's the man. He is, but he's got to be get close to 10 outside circle makes that we've seen on video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he hasn't been on camera every round. Ball oh, to pick up a stroke right off the bat on Emerson. Oh no. Mm. Now we saw a couple of missed putts at Northwood from Emerson. Uh, three, I think, inside the circle, but they were all kind of tester putts of the 25 to 30 range. Yeah. That was his first really bad missed putt, and I got a feel for the kid on the first hole that two-stroke swing for Paul yeah. in his favor. and not what you would think after those drives. They both do fantastic drives. Yeah. Hole two, par four, 615. This one's got the OB water and the OB rope on the right side. You got to throw that low backhand, low forehand, or roller. Try to get underneath that one big branch that you're going to see here in a second, as far up the fairway as you can. And then the approach shot is a tricky one because of all that water and the slope. This is tracking pretty well. Going to flip. Stay away from the water. Stay away from those trees. Oh, geez. Chew up huge distance and stop before the line. Beautiful. This is where you see second shots. Whoa, <laughs> Ricky has got away with a shank. That was way wider than he was looking for. I, maybe not a shank, but <laughs> certainly a, an early release. Yeah, missed release. I would say or a late, late release. release. Late yeah. release, yeah. That's where the early release backhands go, not the sidearms. You're right. But a great result. Truly. Get, Get under. under the ceiling. No, don't do that. And it goes OB. That is insult to injury. Horrible break. Usually that tree is just going to knock you straight down. It's not good, but you're still going to be able to save your par. Yeah, that was a really tough break for Emerson. Man, this is a tough start for the kid. i got to think Emerson is going to make bogey here. I mean, mm -hmm. he's out of bounds so early, I don't know if he can even afford to press. I mean, with a decent shot, he's going to be a little bit further than Paul's drive. Yeah, he's not going for anything here, just trying to chip up. But Paul is in a position for another two-shot swing. James goes back door with the putter. Slides oh, that's into excellent. the circle. It's so hard to get a putter on the approach, especially on the right side of that um, approach to the green with a really low ceiling tree. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Love the sidearm approach on this hole. Staying away from the water. And look 
how, I mean, that's the, you've, you'll never see an easier approach to the screen than that right there. And Paul does great work with it too. And to have a head knocker as he throws his zone to one foot. And this is to me kind of an uncomfortable forehand distance. Sir, yeah, sure. Yeah, like right out of jump hut range, but uh -huh. like the softest you can even swing your arm. And Emerson, yeah, he has a little trouble with it, leaves him short, but Good he makes putt. the putt this time. Bogey, back. bogey Bogies. start, and it's going to be birdie, birdie for Macbeth. That takes a lot of the tension out of Macbeth's mind, I think. I mean, yeah. I think he is going to be feeling very good after picking up four shots. And look at this. There's going to be a swing. Emerson is going to drop to third place just like that, and Ricky with his birdie mm -hmm. is now going to have solo I think they're second place. I think they're tied at the moment. Oh, okay. I thought that Emerson's score wasn't in yet. Okay, so now they're tied. Correct. Yeah. Okay, but still, that's Ricky was four back to start, yeah. right? Just like that. He's tied for second place. Hole three, par three, uphill slightly, I think about 290 feet. Uh, you've got the backhand mid-range straight up the middle. There's some backhand hyzer sort of windows, and then there's also a forehand out over the out-of-bounds. Paul's got the mid-range ready to go. He's been going straight up the middle here, and he looks to, to have chosen that route oh, again. Oh, man. Just a bit off in the height. He's certainly looking to put the pedal to the metal, though, at this point. He said it in his pre-round interview. If he shoots the best round, I mean, mathematically, you win. Yeah, so <laughs> it's nice to uh, have that kind of shot. Like, you know, uh, that feeling of like, all I got to do is beat these three guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that it's easy, but like you can, you mm -hmm. can simplify the game and say, okay, at this point, you know, hot round on the card is going to get it done. Ricky with a beautiful shot. He's off to a good start. 300. And James makes that hyzer line just look so much wider than it is. Yeah, it, it's so narrow. I'm not sure how he's even doing that as we see this thing just snaking through, never really even getting close to the trees. I'm gonna pause the Garrett Gerthy one because he's the guy that's birdied this hold. I don't know if he did well this year at Worlds, but at every ledgestone he's played, he's birdied this hole like eight times in a row going the hyzer out. Wow. Oh yeah, Ooh. Emerson. It's nice to get a little bit of a good break after that tough start. Going through all the trees. And as we've seen, you know, for a week now, Emerson has that fight. He's going to get mm -hmm. a stroke back on him. Yep. Ricky's in. Good job. Good bounce back after the bogey start with birdie birdie. We still haven't. Well, this is going to be the first par we've seen on the card. Right there. These guys are not looking for pars today. This is all out, pedal to the metal, full throttle for everyone on the card. Yeah. The difference between winning worlds and getting second place, even, I would imagine over the next couple of years is a six figure difference. Yeah, I think you're right. Winning the world championships is the most lucrative event you can win in the disc golf world. So, these guys are going to leave everything out yeah, there today. definitely put it all on the line. Hole 4, par 3, 423 over the blind hill. You're not going to be able to see this basket from the tee. Players are usually going to go with a straight shot up the middle. The other option is kind of this soft hyzer play. <clears throat> Ricky needs to clear the hill, and he doesn't, and that is going to mm. be a pretty tricky approach. Well, they call him Tricky Ricky for a reason. Or at least I do. I don't know if they... I don't know if they is, is anyone else? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> James, you're enough. Man. You are enough. <laughs> and don't let anybody tell you you aren't. James has gone long with his JK. ABR is going to be a tricky putt. The gallery loves it, but they probably wouldn't love putting that shot. At least it's for birdie. I love putting any birdie putt on this hole. You would. This is getting kind of sneaky. Needs the hyzer. Uh-oh. Needs the hyzer. Uh-oh. And I think it's caught some tree limbs or maybe just the base of the tree and stayed out of bounds. That looks so good. Really good. That is so good. 
And he's going to be in a similar spot from James. That's going to be a really tough putt, but man, with Ricky out of position and Emerson out of position, this is another opportunity for Paul to gain another stroke. Ricky looks like he's done very well from there. He stayed on the edge, didn't have to deal with too many branches. Does Emerson run this? Again, I, I, I don't know. He, he has elected to lay up. Probably smart. I mean, yeah. If you're not feeling it, it's always smart. There's no real, I right. don't really know if you can debate that. If, mm -hmm. if the player doesn't feel confident, the layup is always the right choice. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa. What a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, that's exactly the right words. He is killing putts on this hole, man. Yeah, we saw that incredible par save the other day. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a putt from 50 feet. Elevated basket, OB behind it. Two strokes on the line. From Emerson, anyway. We got to start talking about it with Ricky, too. You know, now that mm -hmm. they're tied, it's, yeah. been, it's been Emerson and Paul show for so long. Well, they're no longer tied as Emerson taps out You're the right bogey. Ricky that. is now three under through four, and he is wow. now in solo second place, taking a five stroke swing in just four holes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did not see this coming. No, not at all. Hole five, par three, 476. You've got to clear the outfield fence and come up short of the rope line that is very hard to see on this drone flight, but just a little long of the basket. It kind of makes this big curve shape. So players have really like all kinds of options. How aggressive do you want to be? You know, do you need to go just a little bit over? Or are you going for the pin? I This guy right here is definitely going to go for the pin. Has always been his play here. Just a big full hyzer. Got a little bit of tailwind working with him here. And this has got plenty of distance. The only thing is maybe too much. Could have too much distance. Wow. It does. Oh, and the gallery does not know that is out of bounds. They're clapping, but Paul is confused. But no, he is going to have to go to the drop zone, and that is a tricky place to go. Ricky with a little bit of a door opening opportunity. He's down six. He's going to have to do everything right today. I think he's done something right this right now. Uh, yep. Good shot for Ricky. He loves it. Look at that, man. He is pumped. He's not very many two-stroke swings away from getting into this thing. Mm -hmm. And this is at least two strokes right here. Yeah, a, a six-stroke lead is comfortable for Paul. A three-stroke lead, not comfortable. It changes everything. And Great James shot. is putting nice. himself star Thunderbird. in the circle with the Star Thunderbird. Yep. And Emerson, with another, he's got a door opening opportunity. This is a big chance for him to get things going in the right direction. And oh, this looks like a lot of highs. I don't think he's got enough distance. It's got to go. Emerson's going to be out of bounds again, and this is a nightmare start for this young player who has held his composure so well through four rounds, and the first time we've really seen any emotion from him one way or the other. Paul from the drop zone, at least 350 to the pin, maybe more, and this is well short. Yeah, that's outside the circle. It's a tough putt for the bogey four. This looks pretty good. Just a little bit further than Paul's. That's going to be a short putt for the four. Good approach shot. We're going to be Paul up next. Oh, wow. There is an opportunity for a three stroke swing. Ricky can cut the lead in half with one putt. I, I mean, you don't want to start playing out scenarios in your head. Wow. Here we go. But did, I don't, if Ricky had imagined best case scenario through five holes, that he would only be this is it. three strokes back, you couldn't have imagined a better start for him. And he's already passed Emerson 
by a lot. By three strokes now. So yeah, best case, without a doubt. I, don't, I doubt he could hardly even imagine it this good. Yeah, this this is a uh, not the storyline I had expected. But it's a storyline I love to see. I mean, obviously rooting for Emerson, but a Ricky and Paul battle. I mean, that is. And James Conrad now. I mean, and and he is not out of it by any means either. A birdie there. He's two under th through the yeah. round. It re I mean, we have, it's been a four, it's been a two-headed race for a yeah, while. Yeah, two, I keep saying two-headed race, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a two-horse race for the better part of the entire tournament, it seems like. Yeah, two horses, two heads. Two, two horses do have two heads. And now, I'm going to say four. I'm going to say four players are in this mix. Granted, hole, hole yeah. six, the yeah. toughest hole on the course, correct? Yeah, it sure is. We've got this par four. A birdie here is, you're almost just ripping strokes away from your competitors. Mm -hmm. They can't, not, not likely they're going to be able to do a thing about it. Mm -hmm. And James has had tremendous success on this hole in the past. He's been birdieing this hole when the conditions have been the most difficult. Wow, and he goes with the turnover. Thunderbird just destroying super, this fairway. Super aggressive line, playing it down the edge, making that approach shot as short as you can ever yeah, hope for. That is a huge drive. Almost, I haven't seen anyone with the guts to turn that disc over off the drive. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to mess with the out of bounds. Everyone is playing this Heiser shot. But this little stretch here, five, six, and eight, are the three hardest holes in the course. And this, if, the, if there's any opportunity to make up strokes on Paul, if he were to make a mistake, it'd be these three holes. He goes with the safe hyzer. I'm interested to see how much Paul pushes for the green. And also, yeah, it looks like we're going to see Paul first, so Ricky will be able to react. Everyone will be able to react. Yeah. Paul is not going for the basket with that height, I don't feel. Yeah, that's circle two. Oh, and God. yeah, I mean, and he's, he's a threat from anywhere inside 70 feet. So he's a threat from that distance. Yeah, it's a smart play. Safe and giving himself a chance, as it seems the wind has really died down. Emerson has got this off early left, and this needs to sit down quick. No skip. Okay. And that seems like just a conservative play. And I don't want to say that he's reserved to not play the aggressive shots to win the world title, but I don't know. Maybe he, he's kind of lost a little bit of the hope with the start that wow, he's had. Look at this width. Oh, come on. Get some skip. No. That is an aggressive play. Wow. And that is also not inside the circle, but, I mean, who's more dangerous than Ricky at that distance? Yeah, and who's going to putt first, do you think? Paul? I think Paul's going to be up first, so Rick's going to be able to see that. And James from the ideal drive has gone turnover what? again, and this is not what you want, Hook folks. Hook up! Oh, oh he's only going to be able to move up five to ten feet up to that OB line. That is so uncharacteristic for James. This is his hole, and he's made almost an overcorrection. That needs to get down. Oh boy! No, that is going to be out of bounds. And from the perfect drive. That is that is hard. And this could be the hole that just shuts James out of any sort of hope for the title run. Come on. No. <laughs> Emerson again. Paul from 65 feet for birdie. Good line, but low. If Ricky knocks this, oh, now we got James first. But, man, if Ricky can connect, there's mm -hmm. going to be an explosion from him and from the crowd. Sit down. Such a tight green. You see so many putts go out of bounds here. This is a scary putt for Ricky. He's got to give it a chance, but he also has to get it down if he misses. Sit. Oh, that is a fortunate break. You don't see many discs at the top of that basket and stay inbounds from that distance. This chain star pro target does have a very flat top. Yeah, the big putts mm -hmm. will really skip off these baskets. They, they really will. So that's a, a good break for Rick. Almost connects on the huge putt, but can 
I have to take the par. Lose nothing to Paul here, but Emerson, man, you got to feel for the kid at this point. So much red down there. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen that from him at all. He's played pretty much all green, a little gray, and then when he has had red, he's bounced back great with a lot of birdies. So still time for him to have an incredibly solid finish at the World Championships. But I, I don't know. The, the, the time is, is running thin for Emerson. If he if he's going to do something, it's going to have to take a little bit of a Paul misstep yeah. and just some and just all pure excellence. Maybe maybe even he'd have to go perfect from this point out. Hole 7, par 3, 275 through the trees. There's OB on the left and right. Straight shot, however you want to do it, with the backhand putter, forehand pig, if you're a rich type of guy, or, or a forehand driver. Here is that pig shot. Expect just a slight ante. And Rick's been going with a standstill forehands lately, even with drivers off the tee. He did throw a run up on hole two, mm -hmm. but I've been seeing him throw firebirds and, and other shots just standstill off the tee. Working for him. It is. And Paul, not likely to miss an opportunity like this. He's going to go right up the middle with his putter. He's merely 15 feet away. Emerson's been throwing this disc so well this event. Yeah. And it continues. Very nice shot. This is the kind of shot that James has been running up all weekend. If you, You're on. right. You're right. This is the time to do it, James. We got that ace catch cam ready. Turn, this is turn, actually turn, looking turn. really. Oh! Oh, 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 that was kind of that was tracking a little bit. How good is this guy that I actually just like expect him to get aces on holes like this? It's a, <laughs> he's got such a track record of just puring these lines with the putter. You're like a little confused and annoyed when he doesn't like give it a good run. Yeah. Like what? What happened? We just built this up. <laughs> yeah. No, he delivers time and time he again. Always delivers. James with a nice birdie putt. Ricky looking to do the same. Yeah. Five down, and there's two more holes in the front nine. We we're talking about how impressive Paul's six down was. Ricky has a chance to do something even better. And thinking about his 11 down at Northwood, I mean, he is just playing level electric. Love getting outside and challenging yourself to become better? How about spending time with family and friends or just marveling at the pure joy of flight? Then you've come to the right place at the right time. Join the PGA. Nice putt from Emerson, and that's a star frame. $25 to charity. To Edge specifically, Edge Disc Golf. Edge for this one, great. Mm -hmm educational disc golf experience hole eight we've got a par four at 793 feet everything short of the creek is out of bounds so you've got to make that gap and clear the water to be in bounds and in play otherwise you're going to a drop zone with penalty obviously this green so tight peninsula style with the big cliff down to the water on the side you don't get much relief there so that can be really tricky rick is just going to go big does it sneak through it needs to sneak through Rick has gone there it through, is. and actually, best case scenario too, because it kind of fought it into an Anheuser, so you got a little bit more carry. Very difficult approach from that range, but he is in all-out attack mode. I'm sure he'll be going for it, and this is ideal. Big drive, just laced. And we've seen him go. I think even putter from that distance. And if he can throw a putter, he's usually going to execute the shot very well. Emerson, this is early. This is right. This needs to get through. Please let him get through. It does oh. not. Emerson is going to be out of bounds. And this roller coaster round continues. He has got nothing but red and green so far. And it's going to get red at minimum from yeah. here. James gets through. The field has been cut, like you said. 88 players playing Eureka during this final round. 
Scoring average on this hole is 4.43. These are the 88 of the best players in the world, and they're averaging just about a half stroke above par. Mm -hmm. There's so many elements that make this hole difficult. Tee shot's just one of them, but this approach might be even more difficult than getting your disc through that gap. Well, when you think about all the out-of-bounds and the tight gap, and you put a 800 feet, I mean, a wide-open hole, and yeah. 800 feet is a decent par four. Mm -hmm. And this is this is has so much more to it than that. So it, it all adds up to just a highlight birdie. Rick's going to be bidding for a highlight birdie here. This is a great-looking effort. If this stays up, this is going to be really nice. Nice. It's going to be well short. It's going to be a tough putt. But a great effort from that distance. Paul does throw that putter you were talking about. This needs to keep turning. Oh, that good. That might have been a good break. I, absolutely, I think it was. I, that was not drifting enough to the right, I don't believe. Emerson over the basket, nicely done. He'll have that left for his bogey five. James, a long Whoa. putt for birdie, a great effort. Just sailing by inches right. So close from Paul. And Ricky for the birdie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Drops the putter, just sad. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at the situation. It's just his reactions are funny to me sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But man, it, it, he knows he's so close. That putt that he missed on hole six was just barely off. The mm -hmm. putt he missed here on hole eight was just barely off. And had he made both of those, he would have been seven down through eight. I mean, incredible stuff right now. Leaderboard check-in. Here we go. Thank you to Udisc. You've been seeing the battle unfold. Paul with a three-shot lead over Ricky. Look at Chris Dickerson on the move mm -hmm. into a tie with Emerson Keith. Yep. James Conrad sitting in fifth. Nate Let's Sexton. Climbing up three. Let's Ooh, T6 right there. Kevin Jones, T6 as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's really not just a race for the world champion. I mean, that's what we're all here to see is who is going to be crowned the 2019 world champion. But this event means so much to every single one of these players. And if you finish top 10 at Worlds, it's an accomplishment that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Hole nine, the bridge hole, par three, 354 OB everywhere. If you do not come to rest inbounds, you advance to the drop zone at the end of the bridge, taking a four at best. Rick has been showing us this pig shot. That's really well committed, outright wide, swinging back. That is just gonna be so parked. Parked piggy park. Loving it. Love the emotion, the fire. This guy is feeling it. Paul steps up. He's going to match him. Yeah, yeah, he is. Wow. This might be short. Nice it skip. might be, but it's not. Nice skip. <laughs> In the years past, we've had a wall there and the, during the Ledgestone, there's always been some sort of advertisement, and that shot would have been out of bounds. But they've done away with the walls, and I, I appreciate it. Wow, very overstable from Emerson. Super mm. safe. Play. It's going to be out there. I mean, he's, we've seen him go safe a couple rounds in a row now. I wasn't sure if it was a misrelease um, before, but now after doing it twice, I, I think that that might be his most comfortable play. And... He's going to finish the front nine with his first par on a just really tough start 
for him in his final round at the lead round, lead card world championships. James, smooth putt from 30. That was Paul stepping up. He's going to have a birdie here. To me, with nine to play, the green is all the same thing. Yeah, certainly is. They're down nine with nine to go, and Ricky loving it. He is the dream is not over not, for Ricky Wysocki. Not, not even close. <laughs> Dixon Chowers stepping in like what? What me? <laughs> oh man! Wow. wow. Yeah, I cannot. I'm uh, somewhat speechless about what we've seen so far. Ricky charging in a way that. Only few in this world can. Ricky is putting together some magical stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got nine holes left. Can Paul be five-time or can Ricky be three-time? That's what it comes down to now. It's giveaway time. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this wild ride. We've got Grip 6 coming up huge again with belts and hats. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe to Jomez Pro. Get there on Patreon if you haven't already. you got a chance to win these beautiful items. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, PDGA. Thank you, Germ. We'll be back.